bad times whenever you're like keoing with Dre. Dre really just wants to play friendlies. And it's like, dude, you're working. Yeah. Like I don't. I've never. I I swear to you. I think I've played one friendly at Smashfield, and it was because I got there really early at like four o'clock, maybe four thirty, to set up, and then everything was ready by like five or five thirty that I needed to do. Mm -hmm. And so I was like. Yanni, play me in Squad Strike. Yeah, I can only really get friendlies in at the beginning or like late uh, top 16 or something like yeah. that. Yeah, our plan is um, two out of three until the grand final. All right, well, here we go. We'll Winners finals, Kasev versus Goma. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, we, we, yeah. Okay. So, so far, both of them just kind of staying away from each other, just trying to feel each other out. <sighs> All right. And these, these two actually have a really solid, like, I want to say feud going in oh, terms really? of, uh, not like a feud feud, yeah. but like in terms of just like their overall set counts with each other, I believe Kasev is up 4-2 in sets, right. but Goma's won the last two sets. Okay. So Goma is starting to actually adapt to the snake matchup. Okay, got ya. And so I, I'm very intrigued. Like I know for me as an Olimar player, this is like whenever I'm like able to commentate a Goma set, I mean I can like drop some all of my knowledge, but at the same time I'm like yes I can like learn like <laughs> yeah. firsthand what is going on. Cause man, it's Olimar can be one of the scariest characters in this game. Cause I was talking er earlier in another Goma set, it's just that you're in that mentality where like okay I'm at 20%, I'm fine, and then literally four seconds later you're at 80% yeah. at that point, and it's just he gets in your head so much in this game. Yep. And right now, I'd say this lineup that uh, Goma had going on, like the yellow, white, and blue, that is a really solid lineup to have against Snake. Just because you're able to tack on the damage with, uh, like, a perp. You tack up a white. And then if you're able to get in on Snake, you just start up start up smash with yellow. And then you follow up with your blue up air into your yellow up air. Yeah. And then you're able to just keep Snake above you. And you get to kind of just force Snake to try and uh, get back down to the ground. Yeah. All right. Oh, get great sniped Nikita. with the Nikita. All right. KSF doing a great job right now. It's a stock ahead. Just trying to keep Olimar at bay, throwing in these grenades to kill the Pikmin before they can get to him. Yeah. And at the same time, you see every time like a grenade is up in the air, Goma's actually throwing a Pikmin at the grenade because the way, when a grenade and Pikmin interact, they actually like hit each other and bounce up. Really? So that way, like if... Uh, Case of is cooking the grenades for a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that they're not landing down and like they're not blowing up as they're just above the ground, they're blowing up in the air. It's actually throwing off like this aggressive wall that Case of is trying to put up. Now, uh, with red Pikmin, can they survive grenades or stuff like that? Or is yes, that because red red is or grenades are fire based. Okay, I was just so making Reds sure that they were that fire. All right, but Case of taking that game one. Yeah, pretty convincing, I'd say. Yeah. I think it was two. I think that was two stacks ahead uh, for that one. So definitely. All right. So let's get into this game number two. Olimar sticking with it. Yep, he's been really loving PS2 tonight because he ha he has just been able to get that you know ladder combo uh, up co pretty consistently tonight and able to just get that 60, 80 percent that comes from it. Yeah, and with a little bit bigger of a. Th uh, Oh, yep. like of a stage because Pokemon Stadium 2 does have a bigger base stage mm -hmm. while its dimensions are the same size as Pokemon Stadium 1 the stage itself is bigger yeah but this also gives Olmar a little bit more room to just kind of like run around and just put the game back at his own pace yeah especially against somebody like Snake who is already like the moment he's just present on stage the game is already going at Snake's pace yeah okay Goma just kind of staying back right now, just trying to feel Kesev out. Just trying to 
not necessarily approach to try and get him to approach uh, Goma. Yeah. All right, blue fro Goma is so good at getting that blue Pikmin like the moment that he needs it in order to get that fro kill. A lot of people I feel like are underestimating uh, that in ultimate. Man, you gotta watch. I think blue might be honestly one of the scariest ones. Yo, that blue Omar is definitely has. one of the ter most terrifying Pikmin. Ooh, dash deck, okay. All right, Nikita, Nikita coming in. Oh, I mean, he got that low because he was like, okay, I think uh, there's a chance that Goma drops low to try and recover. Yeah. Oh, oh, tried to go for he a tried stage to just fight. Drop zone him too. That was that would one hundred percent been an Omar <laughs> drop zone. Oh yeah. All right. Going for so Nikita, Nikita again. Out once again. Yeah. With a with a you know a slower recovery like Olimar's, Nikita is really gonna pry on that. Yeah. You could tell Case have ran up there, waited for the and like waited to up tilt because he's like, all right, spot dodge. Yeah. But Goma. Iron wall as per usual. Oh, oh my, my god! Gosh. I <laughs> love when I see Olimar's use the wing Pikmin up B and just follow their opponent and be like, all right. Yeah, I believe please. that is new in Ultimate. I don't think he could do that in Smash 4. He could. He could. He? He he could. could? Okay. But because like the buffer system in this game is a lot like bigger, he's able to do a lot more of those crazy things. Okay, Gaia. Yeah. All right. Goma's starting to get a bit more momentum back at this point. I feel like he's dictating the pace of the match, uh, definitely, especially after that wing Pikmin combo. Oh, up smash. I think he just plucked that purple Pikmin right before that. Snake Shield is looking really low right now. Yeah. And you know what's crazy is that, like, we're just like, wow, you know what? This is, like, Goma, like, the way he lost his first stock. It's nutty. But if you think about it, he just two-stock case of with low percent, 35%, all, like, 35.2% on the board. That is a convincing two-stock. And I think the thing he that case of needs to know is that both of those stocks, both taken by a wing Pikmin combo. Yeah. On that. So, higher blast zones. Yeah. I think that definitely would help. So, something like Town and City, possibly something to bring in to question uh, but whether or not goma bans fd is actually up for the discussion as well i would think he would maybe also ban battlefield probably in this one who well. knows i don't know battle like battlefield is a very tall stage so like there's a chance he bans it. i mean a lot of snake mains say that is his best stage um a he lot of gets time to live forever tri platforms are really good for setting up your grenades setting up your c4s yeah i mean it's, either way i mean i i think we could possibly just see like a run, like a run to maybe Smashville. I think Town is also a op, like up for discussion, up for play, possibly. Because the thing is, in in this one, it's that it usually back. you see snakes kind of stay underneath a platform a lot of the time and kind of make that their home base. But Olmar could kind of just deny that by throwing Pikmin at, yeah. in that kind of general direction and get that angle that a lot of characters can't cover. Mm -hmm. And the counter pick back to Pokemon Stadium 2. All right. Clearly, uh, case of just thinking about how there's something he could do a little bit differently here. He has we'll got them. See. Normally, when you're in like this type of uh, format where you have nine stages, three bans, no DSR, you usually get to ban two stages and the stage you just lost on. Mm -hmm. And in a two out of three, possibly banning out the stage you lost on in game number one is actually a very crucial decision to make. Yeah. But... You know, Case has the one in winner's finals, not us, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gets that tacked on with but that man, purple like, or that white. Like, just know that we're only 40 seconds in. Look at Case has damage right now. Yeah, he's, he's almost done. He's almost died twice. That is the power oh of Oh, my all God. Of he's <laughs> dead with the – that was such a good call by Goma uh, to realize that, like, hey, just when somebody's air dodge, directional air dodging to the ledge, that means they actually cannot grab until their invincibility is yeah. done. And because they're uh, they're right there, that means you can two frame them. Mm -hmm. So Goma's able to throw out a big, kind of like a semi disjointed down air, mm -hmm. gets the kill. Yeah, gets the two frame. All right. Nice Pikmin Ash yield. Again, you're seeing Goma just—he is punishing Kesef for anything he's doing right now. Yeah. All right. 
Kjsef has a large mountain to climb right now against yeah, a character this. like, oh, wow, actually catches him into the up smash. Yeah, you know what, something I, great, uh, something I just realized that based on the four players that are currently remaining in bracket, we are guaranteed somebody to who is winning their first uh, ultimate smash field. Ooh, tonight. all right. Yeah, the only w people who've ever won alt smash fields are Ryuga, Zenodo, Daybreak, and Smasher. They're the only ones who have ever won any Smash Field for Ultimate. So we're guaranteed a new winner tonight, which is Sweet. pretty exciting. And you know, Olimar, I would love to be able to see an Olimar right there for the first uh, to getting that, getting a W. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, great snipe. Th this Nikita could be fatal. That was a blue. Yep. yep. And a three stock. Whew. Goma. All right, Goma. Goma is on a reign of terror to yeah. them today. I mean, it, based on the progress report that we had uh, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. 